Hey guys, um, just thought I'd pop on. I've been very bad putting up videos for the last while, but it's because I've been extremely busy on the farm. Um, we've had a busy Christmas. Um, our turkeys went down an absolute treat and they came out very well. I was very happy with how the turkeys came out this year. And I've been busy with our deer fence. Um, I've been I've put in over it's about 750 meters. It's a bit off kilometer of deer fence and pretty much on my own. Um, so that was slow. Obviously it would go faster with more people, but I was happy to work away on it on my own. This is a five foot poultry fence, um, or it's a little over five foot. And as you can see at the bottom, we've got small squares, they're 80 by 80. Then as you move up the fence, they get a little bit bigger. And then on top of that, I have two row of high tensile. Uh, it's 12 gauge, um, 2.5 mil uh, high tensile wire, and that's electrified. So my overall fence is over six foot tall and I also have here just uh, 150 mil up from the ground I've got another high tensile wire so if any predator puts his nose through the wire he'll touch that. Uh, all in all I think I, I have I think it's 750 meters of fence I put in. Um, I done it all on my own pretty much. We had the machine in which drove the posts and then I just pulled all the wire on my own. It would be faster with multiple people. Um, but it was just me and I didn't mind it. Um, it's nice in the winter time. It's a bit slow to do because we've only got um, about eight hours of daylight and when I take chores and that out of that I was only maybe getting five to six hours a day working on it so it's taken me um, like three weeks I think to get it all done. This is the best part I find for corners so here we've got a gate I still have to install the gate but uh, this is a hitch uh, brace. Now from my reading they typically tell me a 30 degree angle is the optimal here. I'm a little bit steeper than 30 degrees but um, the idea is all the tension has been pulled on the top of that post but because we've triangulated this so this post is held back by that wire um, and I just think these are solid job and if ever it gets loose all I got to do is uh, tighten up this little ratchet. This guy here can be tightened up and he will keep tension on my hitch bracket. Um, I could have used uh, another post here. Um, this is a 2.4 long piece of 2x4. It was just cheaper to use the 2x4 so I done that. Um, I could have equally used one of these posts. These posts are heavy. They're 8 foot posts so they're 2 foot in the ground. And I think they're, they're 4 inch diameter or a little bit over 4 inch. Um, they're solid, they've got a, a 15 year guarantee on them, they're treated posts. Um, I got a good deal on them, I bought them in bulk direct from the producer and that's where I got them. Spacing wise we've put, uh, the brace posts are 2.4 meters apart, after that it's every 3 meters we put a post which is a, maybe a bit overkill for this fencing, it's recommended between 3 and 5 meters. Um, but I just wanted to do a good job when I was doing it and again for tightening up our uh, high tensile wire which is electrified again we just use these little ratchet guys and then we're using uh, just the screw in isolators uh, on all the posts to connect it um, I am going to I was just this wire here along here just testing that um, the electricity was flowing good I'll have two spring gates on here and I put on my main gate on there as well and that'll be, I'll take away this fence here and I'm going to make an entrance into the woods there. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy uh, with the fence. It's quite expensive. Um, I think I'm probably almost up to, I'm at least four grand, maybe four and a half grand in materials. I've done all the work myself. Um, if I was to get a contractor in, that'd be considerably more expensive. And that's kind of how I was able to afford this was by doing all the work myself. Um, but it's, Good job. And for our main gate, you can see we've just installed some spring uh, gates. And I don't actually come through here that much, only in delivery days do I drive up to the farm. I normally just use this little walkthrough gate. Um, so that's it. I'd say I've got another, another maybe three days in the fence and all that done. And again, the purpose of the fence is to protect all these guys. Um, we got our lines of willow here, and but it's mainly our fruit trees. But uh, we've got a lot of deer in the area, and they've been coming in, particularly when I've got such nice grass like this. Because typically most farmers graze their grass down with sheep 
uh, during the winter right down to like a golf course so it's attractive to the deer to come onto the farm and then they can they can really hit my fruit trees in the spring so I've got plans to put in a lot more fruit trees this spring as well as berry bushes and the fence is going to pay for itself then and we just need to come up with a long-term um, solution for a boundary um, thinking like hundreds of years and that's probably going to be in the form of some sort of hawthorn or blackthorn hedge you can see there's a blackthorn hedge established in there and maybe i need to get something like that going all the way around the farm but that's just something i can uh, work on in the next few years it's been super busy on the farm and i've been doing most of the plans for this coming season are now in place um, the projects are ongoing now the fence i've got about three more projects uh, after the fence and I'm also working uh, on I've ironed out a lot of creases in our egg mobile automation and I'm really happy with the system I have now so I'm going to basically put together a package an online package a training package for that a step-by-step -step of how to build um, the automation system for an egg mobile or it can be applied to anything basically to get your head around using 12 volt automation and it could be applied anywhere on your farm. Um, I'm doing some a project with Richard in Ridgedale. I'm going to send off three units to him so he can automate his egg mobiles and I'm hoping by the end of January um, certainly into mid-February that I will have this training together where for uh, a very affordable price you can subscribe and have a step-by-step -step guide of how to build your own automations as well as all the links to all the parts to use and various ways you can assemble them to get different functions. So I'm really ex excited about that and I'm going to be working on that over the next while as well. We also have closed our internship application and we have selected our intern for next year so I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be nice to have uh, an extra pair of hands in the farm and also someone that's it's someone that's going to be starting their own project hopefully in the following season so it's a bit of something new for me to help someone work on and we're i'm also going to be working as a mentor on the uh, regenerative agriculture masterclass um, with richard perkins so i'm also very excited to be seeing what projects are going to be coming up there and working with guys on there it's really exciting um, that stage of developing and planning your farm I love it and it, it's really exciting for me so that's a good distraction as well from all this uh, physical work that I've been doing every day that's it for today guys um, hopefully with a bit more help in the farm now this coming season I'll be able to produce a lot more content and show you guys around the farm so I'm really looking forward to that and I'll see you again soon